few days ago, I took part in Butmore Park's Austrian Grand Prix Challenge. The challenge is basically the same number of laps and qualifying set up around Butmore as the real life Austrian Grand Prix. And as you can see, I managed to put my car on pole position after three qualifying sessions, which at the time was very surprising because I am a noob when it comes to karting. This is the first ever time I've done well in a race. <laughs> so uh, yeah, as you probably might see from my Club 100 videos that I'll be uh, putting out very shortly. So uh, yeah, this this will probably be the first and probably the last time I'm uh, reaching the lofty heights of first position. <laughs> so yeah, going into this uh, race, I was just so conscious of being overtaken immediately. So I was just trying to stick tight to the curbs, tight to the apexes so there's no room for overtaking and just making sure I don't make any mistakes and hope that everyone fights with each other so, you know, pull away 10 seconds on the first lap, which obviously didn't happen. <laughs> but um, yeah, at this point is literally right behind me and uh, it was that case up until we started come up, coming up to uh, traffic around the circuit so um, yeah my my main aim is just to keep putting quality laps in basically and just put in the best laps I can and hopefully the guys behind slowly drop back which is uh, I mean I think that's the main aim for anyone at the front of a race I guess but um, yeah this type of race is a open race so anybody can enter which is really fun so you could if you're interested in this sort of stuff just uh, check out Butmore Park's website and um, they have open races every now and then which uh, yeah is a fun thing to do if you wanted something different or just want to try karting for the first time I definitely recommend doing an open race because this is where you're going to learn the most about karting in my personal opinion you can put as many quality laps in as you want on the arrive and drive but you're not really going to learn race craft basically so yeah we'll fast forward to uh, lap 12 so I have something interesting more interesting on the screen so as you can see I'm uh, coming up against a back mark of which I've passed a couple already with uh, no incident well, this uh, this particular back marker decided to get revenge for me not seeing that yellow flag which at the time I, honestly I did not see it which is why I went for this move and um, illegally get into position which I didn't know at the time which is, I, which is why I can understand for him trying to get this position back immediately going into this corner. And obviously he took me out. And that, that guy going past there is in second place, the number 10 driver. Which I, at the time is quite annoying, but at the same time I can understand why he's gone for that move. So uh, looking back I'm not too aggrieved about it. So yeah, the, the uh, guy first now is around three seconds ahead. And um, I thought at the time all oh, the race is over, I'm going to finish second. But um, traffic in these sort of races is such an important factor if you want to win because what is it one and a half laps later and I've already caught up it's a pretty much less than a second than him and uh, this particular car driver number four is basically not leaving the uh, number 10 driver low for the corner as you can see he's getting a bit frustrated so yeah like, like I say it's a, a factor for both of us we've got to uh, try and deal with um, so yeah it's a it's, it's a fun aspect like I don't know, I think the drives towards the front of the grid gets a bit more frustrated than the ones towards the back because they're trying to have a good time, but naturally we both want to win because we're both very competitive. So he goes up a little bit wide through that corner on the exit and I hopefully I can send it down the inside here, but I just, I'm trying to give him the most rooms possible and he's got more pace coming out the corner he's got the wider line. So uh, yeah, th this is pretty much the gap through the whole first half of the race as I'm maybe a couple of tenths behind him maybe stretching out to half a second if um, come up with some traffic or I'll make a little error or just, just things like that but um, this, this is the gap between both of us for I'd say even two thirds of the race so um, it's quite a, a fun race to watch I guess from the sidelines if you was paying attention to it so uh, yeah like I say 15 laps well 17 laps later and um, still right on his tail and um, just trying to look for any open door that is, is leaving and he just went a little bit wide there but I couldn't capitalise on it I don't think he could have anyway but um, yeah just trying to stay on his tail waiting for him to make a mistake through any corner waiting for him to get caught by a back marker anything like that so I can take advantage but yeah just trying to uh, race fair and clean which I'm sure he'll you know, appreciate if he sees this video <laughs> I'm not going to go lunging in the inside but yeah 
<coughs> as you can see, he's getting held up by a little bit by a back marker. Maybe he had a bad exit through that corner. But um, we both get um, that back marker through turn one. Both got a, a decent overtake from both of us. But the thing is, he's doing all the work for me, and I just follow through because um, I'm not forced in mine. But uh, yeah, he has a bad exit there. But I'm alongside him. As you can see, the yellow flag. And I can't overtake him. I did see that yellow flag. <laughs> so I get, I'll leave him the position. But I think if there wasn't a yellow flag, I may have had him through the outside in that uh, second hairpin. So, uh, yeah. <clears throat> but um, coming through this corner, he has a very bad exit through that corner, which is, makes him slow into this corner. So going up the hill, I've got a great line here to overtake him on the inside. And the same as before, I was just a little bit closer. I could shut the door and I've got the position done. And at that point, I was really pleased with myself because I, I was working. That's a good, what was it, 28 laps I've been working on that car to overtake him. So uh, I was quite pleased with that overtake. And from that point on, it was um, pretty much plain sailing. Uh, you know, 14 laps later, I'm still ahead. I think he's only one and a half seconds behind me at this point, which uh, I know if I make a mistake or get caught up in traffic, he's right on my tail again. So uh, just coming up for a few back markers that was the uh, last challenge for me now I just navigate the back markers to the best of my ability and hopefully they don't slow me up too much or take me out and uh, pay attention to yellow flags as, they <laughs> as I did get caught out with uh, one earlier on in, in the race now uh, you guys who do follow F1 might be a bit confused why there's only 64 laps instead of 71 that's because around this time uh, the live timing screen went down at the circuit and I, I, the um, guys at Butmore said it is because it's the first race after lockdown. The uh, system is in, in the greatest condition, I'd say. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, it was a bit um, confusing, which is why the race was cut short. Because I don't think they kept the time very well when the system went down. So there's only 64 laps. So I mean, it's still um, it's only seven laps off. But I'm sure the guys behind me was like, "You've still got seven laps to go. You haven't won it properly." But um, as you'll see in a bit, that it's that you can see why well, six minutes just disappear off the um, the timing screen. So uh, yeah, it's a bit a bit strange with that one, but um, but yeah. So yeah, second to last up now. Like as you can go back to time screen now, you might be able to just see six minutes on the timing screen, which I think oh great, I've got um, six minutes to hold out, hopefully no incidents that cost me this victory. So at the moment is around three to four seconds behind me which uh, I know is a great position to be in and obviously if, just as long as I don't make any mistakes keep on the racing line I've got no back markers directly in front of me so I'm just going to go as fast as I can obviously and hopefully uh, nothing happens and um, obviously at the you, you guys obviously know this is the last lap but at the time I did not know this and obviously I'm just trying to keep it on the track <laughs> and this is my this was my uh, first ever win and of any race and uh, I was quite happy about that so uh, obviously this is the check of flag I was like what the hell there's still six minutes left but uh, yeah there there we go that, that was the win so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I uh, if you want to watch the full version it's also on my channel the link is in the description below and uh, yeah I'll bring out various karting videos soon on the Club 100 and various other things surrounding karting. So uh, if you guys will be interested in that, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching.